Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review. I'm Scott. Joining us is Coach Jay. We're going to be uh, taking a quick look at the market for today and see if there were any trades that we could have made uh, with stock options. So how are you doing today, Coach Jay? I'm doing great, Scott. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. So what happened today? Today was uh, not super exciting, other than this morning time frame right in here. You can see this is, this is the basket, so it's an aggregate. I've got 15 stocks in the basket for today based on, on my settings. And it pretty much did some movement in the morning and then went sideways, really kind of hovered around uh, this dollar amount right here and didn't really do much after this morning. So we're going to dive into where it was hot and fun to play. And lucky for us, it's usually in the morning so we can enjoy the rest of our day. Pull this over. Bring up Netflix. Netflix is a favorite that you'll see on here quite a bit. And it is usually in there because it likes to move. People like to trade it, so it happens to pop up on our list a lot. We don't necessarily pick it. The software goes out and picks the best opportunities for that day or what it would predict as some of the best opportunities for that day. And that really narrows our search down and lots of times Netflix is, is present there. You can see here Netflix came down and it just couldn't quite bring itself to, to get out of the risk zone. And you're going to see it try it again. Let me get on to one minute candles so you can see that better since we're back to the morning. So Netflix tried to break out of the risk zone, didn't really happen. And then it tried it again. And th this is the kind of stuff that I like as to get kind of that more confirmation. We're always looking for confirmation on which direction the stock's going to choose to go. I like to have an opportunity to see it try sometimes to go a certain direction. So when it does go the direction, lots of times there's a good chance there's some really good opportunity there. I kind of think of it as like the lion waiting in the tall grass, knowing that the zebras are going to be coming to this water hole to drink. And there we go. On top of that, so we've got good volume and got our filters popping off and we've broken out of the risk zone. So this would be a good time to buy a put. And we will move forward. Oh, nice. Right here, I think it goes on just a little bit further there. And the nice thing is, is we do have this eye. But look at this. We have, we're meeting resistance. It's a little hard or a little uh, support. It's a little hard to see here, but this dotted line, we're meeting some support. We've got the system telling us that there's a spike in high volume. We've got the volume genius coming on and we got filters coming on on the back end. So the way I have filters set up is it really highlights the front end of the move. And then some of the same conditions are present to get in as they are to get out. So this is highlighting um, a good opportunity for us to get out. And I just lost my... There she is. So 29% and we'll be done for the day. That's a pretty nice trade. Yeah, it's very, it's very clear. The system does a great job of highlighting this. And one of the things we'll talk about a couple times today is some other indicators that we don't um, mention a whole lot. And the point behind it is you know, have your indicators that you really rely on. You know, maybe you have some favorites, but also don't get so zeroed in that you filter out other indicators that aren't uh, used as, as much, or we don't talk about them as much. Other people use them quite frequently. But one being this I right here, saying a spike in high volume, the volume genius isn't on, but at that moment, there is a lot of volume. And we've talked about before, volume tends to lead a spike in volume tends to lead to either beginning or end of a trend so nice. the other one is this it's covered up you'll see it on another trade i believe today uh, there's these arrows here but there's a blue star hidden behind there and it's a transitioning of the risk zone 
it can mean different things and can be interpreted at different times depending on what you see but this is a transition of the risk zone. You can see these dynamic lines are crossing over. Something is going to happen. That's, that's really, at the end of the day, that's what that means. And the more you learn about the software, you can actually interpret that blue star and, and use it to your advantage. Cool. So do we have another trade today we wanna to take a look at? We do. I would be at the beach with the 29% day, but in case that was missed, <laughs> we can there's a couple more during this time time period that I would like to highlight. And here's Amazon. It's almost the same conditions. It has uh, broke out into new territory. All of our signals are on. We got the fantastic four. We don't have uh, volume, we don't have VG coming on, but we have a nice juicy candle, so we know that there's volume in there. So we'll go ahead and get in a put and move forward. And we had just talked about earlier about the eye. And here it is saying there's a spike in high volume. We're gonna exit on that signal. It's important to know why we're exiting. It's not hitting some of the normal stuff that we talk about. But I think you've heard Coach Rob on a, one of the previous days talk about how long a trend has been going on. This is a significantly long trend. Yeah. The intent or expectation going into this is possibly a pretty quick trade. I would even even consider getting out here at 1650 just because of the length of this trend. So knowing that going in kind of shapes your expectations for what you're kind of looking for or what you're willing willing to hold on for. The market overall is strong, but at some point this has got to take a break. And uh we'd get out right there. with 10%. That's a nice little trade. Yeah, I'm getting uh, a little mini celebration here on my screen. The uh, software gives you rewards and it, it cycles over, but uh -huh. uh, it gives you rewards for uh, each kind of step along the way that you that you get for, for making trades and replay. Fireworks are on my other screen. <laughs> 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 and not too much after that we have google making a little bit of a run so we missed that one because we were making money on uh, amazon and now we're gonna head to google for its next its next run filters are on got our spike in volume and we've got the volume genius telling us as well too hey there is an opportunity here so i like the odds of this one go ahead and buy a put and move forward a few minutes and right there there's our 13 percent and one of the things that made this interesting to me is if you look across, it's in new territory. So it's in a, a nice situation. We sat through a little bit of flutter, but then boom, right here we have our, again, that spike in high volume. We have our filter popping off and we have the volume genius. And it's been a, a decent run, a little bit of a struggle, but we got there and we, we don't want to ask for any more may continue to go on. I know, Scott, you're always curious. Would you like to see? Sure. And it does go on. I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> it ends up turning around. We could have squeezed a little bit more out of it, but no, the, the, enough of these indicators are, it's a clear signal to me. Let's not, let's go with the known. It's always my, uh, my thought process. Go with the known and uh, get out yeah 
And if you want to squeeze a few more pennies out of the trade, that's uh, showing your greed and you need to work on that part of it. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the software. That's all between our ears. And anybody who thinks that they're not greedy, it exists somewhere. There's some corner that it's hiding out in, some recess that it's hiding out in. And when conditions are right, it will uh, it will present itself if you don't have the mindset or the discipline um it'll it'll uh come after you so learn your boundaries and and overcome them that's beauty of having the replay simulator is you can kind of identify and create some situations for that stuff to kind of come out and then have strategies to prevent it right and we're all about get in get out and make some money so with Amazon, we were in for three minutes and made 10%. With Goog, we were in for four minutes and made 12.8%. Netflix, we got in for four minutes and made almost 30%, 29.3%. So those are three pretty nice trades. Your financial, your bank account would be very happy. Uh, your bank manager would not be very happy <laughs> uh, if, you were, if you were doing this on a regular basis. So. Uh, and that's what it is. We're here to show you that there are opportunities every day, Monday to Thursday, we take Friday off uh, to have a long weekend uh, to make that money. And you can do it in a very stress-free way. There's, uh, you know, there's two ways to do it, right? The easy way and the hard way. And the hard way is going through all the flutter and reversals because you've let fear or greed control your trading. But once you've got control of those emotions and you've got a system and a strategy, good coaching and uh, a software that basically tells you everything you need to know. You still have to interpret it and make the decision. You, you're on your way to success. I believe it's a really strong success formula. So that was our trade today. Coach Jay, a, a parting tip or comment before we sign off. You know, really just to piggyback on everything you summarized is let us help you. We, we with our experience, can speed up that process of learning to get you into the market and successful in a relatively short amount of time. Yeah, awesome, great. We have a 10-day free trial. Get a hold of us. We'll uh, talk with you, see if this is a fit for you, and uh, move you towards your financial goals. I'm Scott. He's Coach Jay. This is the Day Trading Genius Daily Review. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.